After the British Army withdrew from Dunkirk, there was a severe shortage of equipment in the UK, including less than 200 anti-tank guns. In order to quickly replenish the equipment, Britain collected many simple weapon design proposals, and the Smith gun was one of them. However, this artillery had very poor performance and never participated in combat or killed any targets during its years of service. Instead, it caused many friendly fire incidents. Around 1940, William H. Smith from Triangle Limited created an artillery project. Following the principle of simple and easy production, a uniquely designed towed anti-tank gun was developed. In 1941, this equipment, known as the Smith Gun, was finalized and put into service in the militia to defend the UK. The Smith Gun itself could only serve as a supplement to specialized anti-tank guns. Its structure was not complex, with two slightly conical large-sized wheels. In between the wheels was the structure of the gun and gun shield. Unlike conventional gun carriages, the gun itself was a modified 3-inch mortar turned into a direct-fire gun. It had low muzzle pressure and recoil, so when in use, the entire gun carriage only needed to be flipped over, with the concave side of one of the wheels placed on the ground. At this time, the gun was aligned properly, and the gunner operated the gun from behind the gun shield. There were also five spare rounds of ammunition next to the gun. The artillery had two types of ammunition. One was a slightly modified 3.6 kg high-explosive shell, which could attack soft targets. The other was a 2.7 kg armor-piercing shell, capable of penetrating 60 mm homogeneous steel armor. The artillery seemed to be able to rotate 360 degrees, with a maximum elevation angle of 40 degrees. The barrel was about 1.4 meters long. Due to the low muzzle pressure, the trajectory characteristics of the artillery were similar to mortars, with a significant curve. Although the maximum range was 1,600 yards 1460 meters, the effective combat distance was only about 400 to 500 yards. Beyond that, accuracy was lacking. In addition to the gun version, the designer removed the barrel and other structures and installed an ammunition drum on the axle, creating a matching ammunition transport trailer. This trailer had an additional frame for towing, while the Smith gun was directly towed through an additional mounting structure attached to the muzzle. A total of 3,049 Smith guns were produced, and they served until 1945. Afterwards, except for a few that were retained, most of them were melted down and recast. Although the quantity was not small, the Smith gun was not favored by soldiers, mainly due to safety issues with the gun itself. During training, there were multiple barrel explosion accidents caused by issues with the ammunition safety, resulting in deaths of soldiers. This forced the military to introduce new regulations, requiring all Smith guns to be equipped with firing ropes. After loading, the gunners would stand far away and pull the rope to fire. Although this measure prevented injuries from barrel explosions, it was extremely disadvantageous for combat, especially when dealing with moving tank targets. Another issue with the artillery was its performance. With only armor-piercing shells available, it could only cause casualties to light armored vehicles and was very ineffective against medium tanks. Combined with the slow initial velocity and curved trajectory, the gunners had to master a complex set of calculations and predict the target's trajectory, making it difficult to hit targets at longer distances, similar to using a mortar to attack tanks. In fact, around 1943, the UK's own more specialized weapons, such as the QF two-pounder gun, began to become more abundant. The risk of invasion to the UK also decreased to almost impossible. Temporary equipment like the Smith gun had lost its value, but they were still temporarily retained just in case. The Smith gun was one of many temporary weapons in World War II Britain. Compared to potato launchers and similar artillery, the Smith gun had slightly better practicality, but it still couldn't compare to specialized anti-tank guns. If the mission was to support infantry, a simple mortar would be more practical.